everyone, welcome back to Heavy Rain. Uh, so after rewatching the footage yesterday, I'm gonna say sorry for breathing so heavily. That was great, not, it was not great, it was not great. Um, uh, but okay, so let's see where we left off. So I'm Ethan, I'm a father whose son died from a car accident. Rest, rest in peace, Jason. Um, and now we're gonna go into the sleep of this. I know the fact it was 3 a.m. I'm playing it. It's also gonna be 3 a.m. for this. So, also this very dramatic music. So, okay, let's start, let's start. Jesus. Oh, right, this guy. Oh, sorry. Tuesday. Oh, the rain's 0.272 inches. Guess I better take the stairs. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Oh my god, was that rain? Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope, can't say it does. Seven victims. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the oh. corridor. See, guys, this is the corruption of America. No, it's not. Hey, I did not do that. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. What? It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Am I... Is this seriously what I'm doing? Come on, I have to be detective, right? I'm not supporting this man. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Or wait. No, I do. I support this woman, not this man. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Sorry. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I bought ten minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. Ooh. You want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Uh oh Did I just fail? Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, 
Give me a call. Please, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Please. Guys, I don't think she likes me. All right. Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. Mm. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Oh. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome, Lauren Winters. Lauren. Like Ethan Winters from. Oh, never mind. God. Oh. Oh. Ow. Ouch. Ouchies. Ouch. Ouch. Winter. Okay. Okay. What's happening? What is this? This is just a loading screen. Because damn. S W D. Okay. There we go. Tuesday, eight oh point six inches. What's going on? Is, is there gonna be a flood? This is why the game's called Heavy Rain, guys. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Very blinding. Oh. 
is it? Okay, who is that? I know. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. Oh, you got Norman a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. God, my hands are trying to handle I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. Reporters. Already. Huh. You seem well informed. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman J. Tuesday, oh October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'd be many clues left. If there were any to start with. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. Investigation. I'm looking for Lieutenant Lieutenant Carter Blake. Blake. I just pointed that direction. Thanks. There's a railroad track near where the body is left. Same as all the other victims. Gotta find Lieutenant Carter okay. Blake. I'm soaking wet. Gotta find Lieutenant Carter Blake. Oh. The body is still here. The body is still here. The body is still here. I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me to beat you. I'm the DV. Now, if you're looking for rain, no, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the organic killer. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. Okay. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? 
You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No. No, of course not. That's... that's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit-stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Kate seems to be attracting the attention of the media. Yeah, a greedy pack of vultures. These guys have killed their mothers for a scoop. Some investigation. Come in a three-ring circus. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Hmm. Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Water. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? Yes, sir. We're on the same team now. Okay. When did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Tom and Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Pretty chilly, huh? Sorry for talking to you. Whatever. Comment, sample of no interest, comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Wasteland? Why do they call it that? Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. A small origami figure in a white hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Hmm. Strange. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Okay. Weird. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was removed. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Okay. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Nothing else? Okay. How peculiar. Sample of no interest. 
comes to one of the policemen present on the waist. Don't you guys know? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Can I just leave? I didn't find anything else. Okay, I think that's everything. Dead cat! I'm heading back to the office. You staying? No, I've seen enough. I'm, I'm leaving too. too. He is so Connor from Detroit Become Human, guys. Guys. It's not letting me out, man. It's not letting me out. Ugh. Oh. I messed up opening my car. There we go. Jesus, that rain is very loud. the results of your MRI scans, everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. What accident? However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? I 
I know he's really unhappy. He just can't understand why I seem unable to love him. Wow. And what about yeah. you, Ethan? What do you feel? Anesthesia. I feel dead. I stopped living at the same time Jason did. And that car ran into us. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. But I'm someplace else. Hmm. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. Can you tell me the results of my MRI scan? Please? Like, you were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare brain. to survive such a traumatic accident. Hmm. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Okay, okay. Okay, I swear to God, this therapist is gonna be like evil then. He's gonna be like, I will secretly helping you murder all the, all the people. Okay, oh my God. It's almost a foot. Do you want to eat something? Oh. Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my homework. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm alright. Come on, you can tell me the truth. Ah! Oh. Get up? I think I have to. Oh, okay. A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? You want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you've got to throw it straight and a little to the right. Now, throw it! Job. I did it! I did it, Dad! Good job, Sean! See? That wasn't so hard. Oh, oh Sean!
god, that's the first time I've seen him smile so far. Okay, what do I do? I'm just leaving Sean alone. Last time I left someone alone. <laughs> you know what happened. Sorry, that's so mean. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. How did he hear me from that far? I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh, I have to let go. Oh. Oh. You're not pushing dead. Sorry, I messed up. Come on, Dad! Higher! <laughs> I'm a semi good father right now. This game's so sad, guys. I don't know. Damn. That was cool. It sure was, kiddo. Oh, the carousel. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberries. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Not leaving. How about we go on the carousel? What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! It's 4.15. Okay. Okay. Go on, Dad! As fast as you can! Oh my god, guys! <laughs> Whoa! I think my head is spinning. <laughs> Good training for astronauts, though. <laughs> Seems like a very unstable seesaw. Come on, Dad, make me fly. Oh, I thought I was gonna sit on it. Oh my god, I'm crazy. <laughs> Just know, guys. Need Quantic Dream? 
they are making a Star Wars game, <laughs> even though it was in development hell. It's coming back up, I think, a little bit. So, <laughs> if we get this, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but with Star Wars, holy guacamole. Excuse me. <laughs> I have to walk around anxiously. Oh, he went back to his. Looks like rain's rain coming. coming. I think we better go. I think we okay. better go. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Oh. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Oh, where are you going? Oh, God. Damn. I remember when I lived in a mansion. That was... That's the only thing I remember from the past. What are you talking about, Sean? I, I don't know. I remember Jason, obviously, but then I... Hey, Dad! Can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Yeah. Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. What are you talking about, Mom? Who is that? <laughs> I have a mom. <laughs> God, I'm so mean. One, please. That's a dollar. Damn, I spent two dollars on this trip. It'd be so cool to live here, honestly. If there's just a carousel at the playground. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. No, 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 no. no I can't black out now. Shit. <gasps> <gasps> literally just bonded with him. Did I kill Sean? If I did, I'm gonna kill myself. So. Yeah. God damn. <gasps> yeah. What's the bonus? That Sean's dead. Screw you, man. And also, screw me, cause like. I think that's where we're going to leave off. We met 
three new people. No. We met two new people. We met the detective and the FBI. Crap, what's... What were, oh, Shelby, that one guy, and then Jaden. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Oh, let me pause here. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Heavy... Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain. It's great. It was great. I, oh, wait. Actually, before... Before we go... Uh, let's check out what the bonuses are. Uh, extra... Extra bonus. Concept art. Ooh! Oh, it's the... Oh, complete silence. Okay, so it's our house. Cool. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Okay... Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Ooh, I love that mall. Wow, the mall. Sorry it's so bright. Jesus. Ooh, okay. Well, you know, a little... But it's my house. <sighs> Sean, where are you? <laughs> Concept Art 2? Ooh. Oh, this is her house. Lauren Winter. I like how I remember her name and not Shelby's name. Me. Okay. Oh, and then here's this. Oh, I like I like this drawing. I must admit, this is the coolest concept art. It looks all like '30s, like detective. Ooh, what's this? Game controls. Damn. Oh. And then this is like dystopian shit. Where it's like you're at the tur top of a church thing, and it's like it's, it's, it's creepy, creepy. Is that the Death Star, guys? It's the Death Star. Oh my God! Star Wars in a heavy rain cannon. This is me almost getting hit by a truck. This is me looking for Sean, I think. Or no, this is where I popped up. Yeah, weird. Okay, well. I hope welcome Norman. Oh, Norman. Oh, we're going back to Norman. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Alright, I hope everyone enjoyed Heavy Rain today. I'll see you all next time. Jacksonian out. Out.